I am here today with Jeff Wolf from Xilabs. He's the director of eDiscovery Solutions. Jeff, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. So how, how's your show going so far at Legal? It's been fantastic. Okay. Um, we have been, I think, the busiest. Uh, I've spent five years now with Xilab, and I think this is absolutely the busiest legal tech we've had so far. Uh, yeah. Had some uh, great series of meetings, and there have been uh, some great sh uh, workshops going on so far. So can you tell everyone a little bit about Xilabs and what problems you solve for organizations? Sure. So um, Xilab is not new to the e-discovery space. Uh, we've been uh, in e-discovery for about 15 years as a company. Actually, we've existed for over 30 in information governance and search. Uh, but we are an end-to-end e-discovery -end e solution uh, for uh, both uh, corporations, law firms, and governmental agencies. Uh, uh, one of the things that we do uniquely is that we are both an on-premises solution as well as a, a cloud-based SaaS solution, and we're completely next-gen, end-to-end uh, collection, processing, analytics, review, and production, uh, as well as legal hold. So uh, what do you see happening with the, the whole uh, smartphone mobile messaging platforms as it relates to e-discovery? Sure. So um, mobile device collection has, is on the rise, as we've noticed in e-discovery cases, uh, which uh, becomes challenging for a lot of the platforms because not only do you have to collect the data, but um, and there are plenty of great tools that do that today, the challenge is more what you do with the data once you've collected it. Uh, because. Uh, the e-discovery platforms have difficulty taking that data and providing it in a, sense, uh, a sensible form back to the attorneys for review purposes. And so that's been actually a challenge. Um, uh, we, have a, we have a good solution for that, uh, but there are still better ways that can be done in the future. Uh, mobile devices in general actually um, are part of a bigger problem of ephemeral data mm -hmm. as it relates to e-discovery now. Uh, not just uh, mobile, but also social media enterprise collaboration sites, like you know, uh, Workplace by Facebook is internal to organizations, and what they do with that and <laughs> compl managing compliance and e-discovery over that is a challenge. So what mix of uh, uh, smart messaging and peer-to-peer -peer messaging versus traditional email are you seeing on cases now? Are most cases going after the cell phone to do forensic collections to extract that data and get it into the review platform? Yeah, well, more I would say more so more mobile data than there has been in the past. Um, I don't think mobile data has uh, eclipsed email just yet in the majority of cases. Although what I have seen recently is that uh, enterprise collaboration tools like Slack and Teams are starting to eclipse email in a lot of organizations. We had a, a, a large newspaper um, that uh, contacted us and said, you know, we, we, we don't use email very much internally anymore. We use Slack. Hmm. And uh, what, what's you know what can you do for to help us in an e-discovery capacity with hmm. Slack? And that's a challenge because uh, the way Slack operates, it's it's not a document by document type of uh, platform, and so providing that back is a challenge. So if, if a let's say a medium-sized law firm wanted to try out your product, mm -hmm. uh, what would that entail in terms of, of cost? How are you charging that? Sure. Service. Sure. So, uh, the the cloud based solution, the SaaS product, which is uh, very easy for uh, law firms or corporations to get involved in, uh, just requires that they have a case that they're ready to try, and they can uh, we can provision a site within 24 hours for them to be live in uh, Microsoft Azure. We have instances both in the United States here and in Europe, okay. um, so they can, we can make sure their data is safe and protected within the within the uh, the geographic location, and they upload their content, uh, drag and drop it. And they get charged by the gig. That's it. It's a straight. Is it a per month per gig or per is it gig per month? Per gig per, okay. big, per gig per month flat. You can have uh, unlimited users, and you have access to all of our functionality, including our artificial intelligence. Okay. Well, that's great. Well, I appreciate you being on the show, and I look forward to talking to you again more about artificial intelligence. Thanks very much. Thanks.